G'day. Today, we're going to talk about the unsung hero of the camping. The small little tent peg. And you might think, what the hell are you talking about? What's the unsung hero? What's a tent peg? Well, you already know the tent peg is playing a massive part of your camping setup. Regardless of your setup being big or small, the chances are you're going to end up with a couple of set of tent pegs are high. So that's where I'm coming from. I'm going to let you know what sort of tent pegs you need when you go out in the bush. As far as I can see, there are two types of tent pegs. One is being for sand and the other one is for hard ground or general purpose tent pegs. When I say sand pegs, that covers only 20% of the 100% of tent pegness. What that means is unless you're in Western Australia or Morden Island or Fraser Island, chances are you're going to need those pegs are very minimal, very low. The general purpose tent peg, that covers 80% of the 100%. What that means is that is vast majority across the board of campers. So if you're getting a tent or swag or an awning, anything like that, you get a set of conventional ordinary set of pegs. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today, about those 80%. Do you think those skinny, sort of not really durable looking tent pegs are gonna last you that long that you're getting standard with your tent or awning? Think again. To demonstrate, I'm gonna set up my swag setup right here, right now. Now, before we talk about the tent pegs and how I'm gonna peg this sucker out, I'm gonna give you a bit of a inside look of my tent peg bag. This is it. It's from BCF. Uh, pretty small package for what it is. Let's see what we got here. Got a couple of guy ropes, and I've got more guy ropes, the, uh, the pre-made ones, and I've got Thick boys because I got rid of all my flimsy tiny tent pegs because straight away straight away into the bin and this is take my word for it it's the best tent peg that ever created let me explain well that's out of the way let me paint you a picture right here so these two things does the same sort of job this one is a conventional tent peg and this one is a bit innovative people call it a screw peg and this is again conventional tent peg. The difference between these are vast. You need a couple of tools to hammer down this one because you need a mullet to tap it on so it will go to the ground regardless it's a muddy or pretty hard ground and this will go in. No dramas whatsoever. But the problems start when you, when you have to take it out. When you think about the hard ground, when you pump these with a big mullet couple of pumps, this sucker is gonna go all the way inside it's now going to come out it will be a struggle on the next day when you're trying to get it out that's where these little suckers coming in so this one right here is looks like a, a screw look at that and on the other end it has a 13 mil socket and you might think hey jay I have to carry a drill or impact driver and uh, socket. I know for a fact most of you guys have a power tool system. So in that you have a drill, that's for sure. With me, I have a 18 volt 4 amp battery and a drill. So this does not leave my camping setup. Now, you might think when you're traveling with these suckers, you need to have a drill and a battery and a 13 mil socket. That is true. 
you have to carry them. That's a bit of a detriment to having these ones. But this is uncompromised. This is amazing when you want to back down something and security is guaranteed. It's never going to come out. So, a bit of detriment. But the boring one, well, how else are you going to put this on the ground? You have to carry mullet? Well, you don't have to carry 13 mil. So, I've got a battery and then you don't have to rely on charging the battery all the time. Believe me, for me, that battery will last six months in one charge, no dramas at all. It's just the one thing that I have to put it in. Don't think that's a detriment for that setup. The benefit that I'm getting out of those pegs are vastly different than these ones. So that's why I recommend those ones over this one. This is again a high quality tent peg. Since this is a hard ground, I shouldn't have any problems with this one putting on the ground. I forgot my mullet, so I'm gonna use a rock. Pull, pull, pull. See, this one works well. No dramas. But this is where the problems start to occur. When you want to get rid of this. So, usually you can't really put too much effort, like without injuring yourself, to take it out. I am pulling pretty hard, but it doesn't want to come out. The smart thing to do is just put your hand here and pull, pull, pull. Even now, I'm struggling. See, that's the problem. And this is where these 10 pegs come to its own. Because all you have to do is just find a spot, put your 30 mil socket battery on, hold here from the yellow bit, and drill, drill, drill. Just like that. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna release this one, put it on here, and pull, 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 now I have a absolutely amazing solid ground peg point. And this one, believe me, it's not gonna go anywhere, anywhere. Let me try to pull it out. So as I did before, I'm gonna pull it out so hard, probably like 20, 30 kilos, uh, but it's not gonna come out. There is only way you're gonna take it out is just reverse this sucker out and hold here. Don't wanna hold here and pull out. That's a no-brainer. So I don't think I don't have to explain myself more than this, which 10 peg is better than the other, and why you want to spend a couple of bucks on getting these suckers, because these are fantastic. And you don't have to pay a lot of money for these sort of cheap uh, driver. I've got these from Bunnings Warehouse, um, and um, you can get similar sort of stuff from camping shops. But I have to tell you one thing about these, which is crucial. Get the one independent, so it doesn't really turn with it. As long as you put pressure into this bit, it will turn by itself. So you can hold into it and drill through, no dramas at all. If you drill through and this start to turn, and that's how you're gonna injure yourself. These guys, I cannot recommend enough. It's changed my camping game vastly, I hope will do the same for you. Don't worry about the sand pegs and if you want to know about those ones, let me know. I'll make another video just for you. And why I really like these, because regardless where you camp, hard ground, soft ground, muddy ground, grass, wood, even wood, pretty easily you can sink this bastard right in and right out. No dramas whatsoever as long as you have a drill. The other thing is most of the sets comes with 30 mil socket. For me, I have two of them because if I lose one, I have another one back up. That's a great idea to do. If you choose to own these, that will not gonna put you in a bit of a compromised situation. For me, I've got seven of these and seven of conventional ones. Because if I forget something, my battery died, something like that, I have a set of conventional one to go with it. Or if someone forgot to bring their tent peg, I can lend them out. These are the greatest 10 pack ever came across. End of the story. Comment, like, and subscribe. And on that note, stay safe out there. Take it easy on the road. Haru, see you later.